It's Miss Shortly. I'm going to show you how to check out ebooks. So you need to first go to our catalog. You can either do um, destiny.chatham.k12.nc.us um, and click on Horton Middle School, or you can just navigate to Horton's website, go to the library homepage, and one of the options there is to search the catalog, and you can access it that way. So you'll end up here on this catalog search screen. Um, if you know what ebook you want to get, go ahead and type that in and it'll show it up. Um, if you're not sure and you just kind of want to see what we've got, we need to first go ahead and limit um, our searches only to ebooks. So go ahead and click on material type and we'll scroll down to electronic book. And, and then that will allow us to only search for ebooks. Um, you don't have to worry about this limit to fall at ebooks. You can just look at all the ones that we've got. Um, and then if you want to look at all of the ebooks we have, you just go ahead and um, click on the search bar and hit enter. So that will bring up every ebook that we've got. Um, and as you can see, we have 89. Um, a bunch of Diary for Wimpy Kids, some other stuff, holes. So let's say that we want to um, show all, look at all of them on one screen. You can just go ahead and click show all, they'll all show up. And you can pick what looks interesting to you, if anything. So let's, let's go ahead and look at Big Nate. So we decide this is what we want. You can do one of two things. You can just click on the title and that will take you to the um, record for that. If um, you know this is what you want, you don't need to read more about the book, any of that kind of good thing, you can just hit open. And that will take you to um, a website to log into the Follett eReader. So your username is your email username and your password is your email password. So just your username without the at stumail.chatham.k12.nc.us and your password. Once you've typed that in, um, you can, you'll go get the ebook popping up right like this, right? So um, there are some different options that you could do. If you've checked out this book before, it'll remember where you were. That's why it started me in the middle of the book. Um, if you've never checked it out before, then it will start you on the cover page right here. So you can navigate two different ways. You can click on the arrows and that will take you through the different pages. You can also just click on um, your left and right keys on the keypad of your laptop. And then that will also help you navigate through the pages. Quick um, rundown on how you use it. If you click on book options, it will um, let you check out the book. If you decide that this is what you want, and when you're done with the book, if say you finished it, you're done early, then you could just go ahead and click return book. It'll ask you if you're sure. Yes. Now you've returned it, somebody else can check it out. So you can also click on these two big A's. These are the display options. And you can change the theme. So it changes the kind of the border around the text. I happen to like it navy, provides a little bit of contrast. Um, you can change how it's fit, either vertically or horizontally. Horizontally kind of gives you, makes the font bigger and the picture is bigger, but you'll have to scroll to read the whole thing. Um, page layout by default is set to auto. However, you can change it to seeing one page at a time. And so that will make it really big. You can really take your time or to see a full spread. If you like to read that way, both ways are great. This is the bookmark tool up here, this little banner. You can add a bookmark. Have different pages in the book in case you wanted to come back to it later. Uh, if you decide you don't want it, just click the trash can and it goes away. You can also take notes or highlight stuff if you have some. And then finally, you can search for different things within the text. 
doesn't do a great job with graphic novels, but you can still search. Um, the question mark will take you to help. Yeah, however, if you have any trouble, you can always just send me an email and I'm also happy to help you. So if you click the hamburger over here, the, the menu, it gives you some different options. You can look at the cover, look at different chapters within the book. Um, and if you have any books that you saved to your computer, you can also access them here. Okay, so that is how you use ebooks in Destiny. Um, if you have any issues at all, please feel free to contact me and I am happy to help. Um,